The automotive world is gearing up for a seismic shift as we approach 2025, with the Dodge Challenger Hellcat standing as one of the most anticipated releases of the year. This iconic muscle car has been a symbol of American automotive prowess since its debut, representing a perfect blend of raw power, aggressive styling, and unyielding performance. As Dodge prepares to unleash the 2025 version of the Hellcat, car enthusiasts and critics alike are eager to see how this new model will measure up to its predecessors and how it will fare in an industry that is increasingly leaning towards electrification and advanced technology. In this context, the 2025 Dodge Challenger Hellcat not only needs to live up to its legendary name, but also navigate the challenges of a rapidly evolving automotive landscape. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The Dodge Challenger Hellcat has always been more than just a car. It is an experience, a visceral connection between driver and machine that harkens back to the golden age of muscle cars. Since its introduction in 2015, the Hellcat has been the poster child of unadulterated horsepower and torque, with its supercharged V8 engine capable of producing mind-boggling figures that leave most of its competitors in the dust. The 2025 iteration is expected to carry on this tradition, but with significant updates that reflect both the demands of modern drivers and the challenges posed by an increasingly stringent regulatory environment. Under the hood, the 2025 Dodge Challenger Hellcat is expected to continue utilizing the 6.2-liter supercharged Hemi Vi 8 engine that has become synonymous with the Hellcat name. However, rumors suggest that Dodge may push the envelope even further tuning the engine to deliver even more power than before. The previous versions of the Hellcat already boasted outputs of over 700 horsepower, with the Hellcat Redi variant pushing this figure closer to 800 horsepower. For 2025, enthusiasts are speculating that Dodge could aim to break the 900 horsepower barrier, making the Hellcat not just a muscle car, but a bona fide supercar in terms of performance. This kind of power would position the Hellcat in direct competition with some of the most formidable vehicles on the planet, including the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, and even some exotic European sports cars like the Ferrari F8 Tributo and Lamborghini Huracan. The potential increase in horsepower, while exhilarating, also raises questions about the practicality and usability of such a vehicle in everyday scenarios. The Hellcat has never been a car for the faint of heart, and with the possibility of near 1,000 horsepower under the hood, it will require an equally robust set of technological enhancements to ensure that drivers can harness this power effectively. Expect the 2025 Hellcat to come equipped with advanced traction and stability control systems, high-performance braking systems, and possibly even more sophisticated suspension setups to manage the immense forces generated by its engine. These updates will be crucial in making the Hellcat not just a straight-line monster, but a car that can handle corners and deliver a more well-rounded driving experience. While the heart of the Hellcat remains its V8 engine, the 2025 model is also expected to incorporate some form of electrification. The automotive industry is rapidly transitioning towards electric vehicles, EVs, with nearly every major manufacturer announcing plans to either hybridize or fully electrify their lineups. Dodge, known for its reluctance to abandon traditional internal combustion engines, may take a middle ground by introducing a mild hybrid system in the Hellcat. This system could use an electric motor to provide additional torque, improve fuel efficiency, and perhaps even enable a form of regenerative braking. While purists may balk at the idea of a hybrid Hellcat, this approach could help the vehicle meet increasingly stringent emissions regulations without sacrificing the raw performance that defines the Hellcat brand. Design-wise, the 2025 Dodge Challenger Hellcat is expected to retain its classic aggressive styling, which has always set it apart from the more modern-looking muscle cars like the Mustang and Camaro. The Challenger's retro-inspired design, characterized by its wide stance, long hood, and menacing front grille, has been a key part of its appeal. For 2025, Dodge is likely to introduce subtle updates to the exterior, including revised front and rear fascias, new lighting elements, and possibly some aerodynamic enhancements to improve high-speed stability. These changes will ensure that the Hellcat remains instantly recognizable while also giving it a fresh, contemporary edge that reflects its status as a performance icon. Inside the cabin, 
The 2025 Hellcat is expected to receive a comprehensive update to bring it in line with the latest technology and luxury features found in modern vehicles. Previous iterations of the Hellcat, while offering a decent level of comfort and convenience, were often criticized for their somewhat dated interiors, especially when compared to rivals like the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro, which have received more frequent updates. The new Hellcat is likely to address this by incorporating a larger, more advanced infotainment system with support for the latest connectivity options, such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Additionally, expect higher quality materials, more supportive seats, and a range of customization options that will allow buyers to tailor the interior to their tastes. However, the evolution of the Challenger Hellcat isn't occurring in isolation. The entire muscle car segment is in the midst of a transformation, with electric vehicles like the Tesla Model S Plaid entering the fray and rewriting the rules of performance. The Model S Plaid, with its tri-motor setup and sub-2 second zero to 60 miles per hour times, represents a new breed of performance cars that rely on instant torque and cutting-edge technology rather than traditional combustion engines. Dodge will have to contend with the reality that the Hellcat, despite its immense power, may no longer be the fastest car on the block in a straight line. This new competition may force Dodge to innovate in ways that go beyond raw horsepower, potentially exploring new materials, weight-saving techniques, and even more advanced aerodynamics to keep the Hellcat relevant. In addition to electric competition, the Hellcat must also reckon with the latest offerings from its traditional rivals. The Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, for instance, has been a fierce competitor to the Hellcat since its debut, offering similar levels of power and performance, but with a slightly more refined driving experience. The 2025 Hellcat will need to outperform the GT500, not just in terms of horsepower, but in areas such as handling, braking, and overall driving dynamics. Similarly, the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, Another key rival has been praised for its track-focused performance, and Dodge will likely need to address this by making the Hellcat more capable on the track without compromising its street usability. Another interesting aspect to consider is how Dodge will market the 2025 Hellcat. In an era where sustainability and environmental consciousness are becoming increasingly important to consumers, the Hellcat's unapologetically gas-guzzling persona may be a harder sell. Dodge has always embraced the Hellcat's role as a rebellious anti-establishment vehicle, but as the market shifts, the brand may need to adopt a more nuanced approach. This could involve highlighting the Hellcat's potential hybrid technology as a step towards a more sustainable future, or perhaps focusing on its status as a limited edition, collector's item, rather than a mass market vehicle. Dodge could also leverage the Hellcat's heritage as a selling point, playing up its connections to the muscle car era of the 1960s and 70s. The Challenger, after all, has always been a car steeped in nostalgia, and this could be a key part of its appeal in 2025. By positioning the Hellcat as the last of a dying breed, a final glorious hurrah for the internal combustion engine, Dodge could tap into the emotions of car enthusiasts who are reluctant to embrace the electric future. This strategy would not only help the Hellcat stand out in a crowded market, but also ensure that it remains a symbol of American automotive culture for years to come. The pricing of the 2025 Hellcat will also be a critical factor in its success. Previous models have been priced competitively within the high-performance segment, offering more horsepower per dollar than almost any other vehicle on the market. However, with the potential introduction of hybrid technology and other advanced features, the new Hellcat could see a significant price increase. Dodge will need to carefully balance the cost of these new technologies with the need to maintain the Hellcat's position as a relatively affordable performance car. If priced too high, the Hellcat could alienate its core audience. If priced too low, it could struggle to cover the costs of its advanced engineering. The 2025 Hellcat could also influence the direction of other vehicles within the Stellantis Group, the parent company of Dodge. Stellantis has a diverse portfolio of brands, including Jeep, Ram, and Alfa Romeo, and the technologies developed for the Hellcat could find their way into a variety of other vehicles. For example, the hybrid powertrain that might debut in the Hellcat could be adapted for use in performance-oriented versions of the Jeep Grand Cherokee or the Alfa Romeo Giulia. 
Similarly, the advanced aerodynamics and lightweight materials used in the Hellcat could be applied to future sports cars or even SUVs within the Stellantis lineup. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, how do you feel about the 2025 Dodge Challenger Hellcat? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.